I, I think when you go to the game and you dress a certain way, it's a, it's a level of respect. Because guys have so many brands and are confident in themselves, you see a lot of interesting outfits. And the game is a lot more fun now. I, mean, I wish I could have played in this era. It's a lot of freedom. What are y'all thinking when y'all at home getting dressed to go to the game, knowing that there's going to be a camera waiting on you as soon as you get out of your car? You thinking about how you're going to kill them on the walk-in. <laughs> I'm going to kill them tonight. Like, you literally know what, what night you're going to kill them. I always wore a suit and tie to the game. Like, I didn't have a lot of friends in the league. Obviously, I didn't go to a big school, so I never competed against any guys that I played against in the league. So. I came in the league and everybody was my enemy, you know, other than my teammates. And some of them was my enemy if they were in the line of where I was trying to get to. But I always wore a suit and tie and I always felt like that I was about business. But just being able to it really showcase your personality, like a part of your life, uh, people that are important to you, I think it's dope. And you're starting to see a lot of different guys across the league to where they, they may, maybe it's a breast cancer issue, maybe it's something that is affecting the lives of them or somebody in their family to where they can kind of point the spotlight out to that. What changes or differences you think are in the game now that have affected the amount of points we're scoring compared to nights in the Eastern Conference and Western Conference in the 80s and um, 90s? Movement. The officials have pretty much opened the game up. The floor is more spacious. When I played in the game, I could control your movement. Like, I could put a forearm in your chest and keep you on the left side of the floor pretty much the whole night. I've watched your career and watched your growth and how you handle yourself on and off the court. And I, I think you're, you're right where you should be. You know, you're, you're not arrogant, but every year you come back and you're better and you're better. I think your, your path through the game and how you've been able to work on both on and off the court, you've set a precedent that you can see it throughout your whole team. I grew up in the Iverson era, you know, seeing Iverson come in the do-rag on, the throwback jersey, the baggy pants. So that's how I dressed in college. I had the baggy, the baggy stuff, baggy polos, everything was 2X, white tees, black tees, all of that. And then it phased out and the tight, tighter clothes started coming in. By the time I got to the NBA, it started getting tighter and tighter. And now we- And shorter. And shorter. <laughs> now we flooded and everything's more tailored and tapered. Um, to where I like the in-between, in-between the super baggy and like custom fitted. I think that's the safe space for me. That's the one thing that social media has given you guys and that's a stage to sort of uh, express yourself. You know, whether it's through fashion or whether it's through you going to the gym in the morning, it's, it allows your fan to kind of be able to see what your day-to-day -day life is like. and. A lot of guys are open to that, and there are some guys that are not so open to it. But there again, uh, all these things make the game better. And I just want to know what it's going to be like 10 years from now. Like, how much better can this game get? Well, I appreciate you spending some time with a young, young future OG. Uh, talking about fashion, talking about the NBA, the, the changes that have happened in the game to this point. And make sure you come to the game, man, pull up, break it out, and some wine on me. I'm looking forward to it, man. Bring a championship to Oregon. That's the goal, man. Let's get it done. Well, good luck to you next season. Appreciate Enjoy it. it.